and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Karande, and if you do know me, then welcome back. This video, I'm just going to discuss some of the things that have been changing or are going to change within the past few weeks. Of no, like a lot of our lives have completely changed. And the weeks ahead, and like even the whole year, is going to be like not rocky, but like it's just going to be like different go with the flow but also you gotta stay grounded so that's what i'm here to bring clarity on my name is karande clairvoyant karande and god just gave me messages to share with you all i've been had this message but some messages i know i had to wait so i waited and got myself situated and adjusted with the changes myself because again i went through a lot of changes i'm in a whole new state like seven states away from the state i was in and i didn't even know that was going to happen until less than a week before so imagine big changes big changes five 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 but yeah basically the end of the world as we know it happened <laughs> most people thought it was gonna be like raining down fire terror but literally read the revelations i've been reading the revelations like i started reading it a few months back and then it just started happening in front of me and i didn't even know i was part of it you know you talk about the 144,000 chosen ones now I don't know every single one. I know I am one. I know a bunch of like black women are some. I know it's a bunch of different races, a bunch of different, you know, things going on like that. Or like, you know, the chosen ones is not just as like race. But God just, it's time. He's tired. You see all the sickness, all of the evil, all of the just pain, what the fuck. I know cussing in God again. My relationship with God is different. It might not be what you think. I grew up a Christian, but as I got older, I became an atheist sometime in high school. Then after that, I became a Christian again, but now I'm just spiritual. I believe in God. I love God. I believe in Jesus. I love Jesus. I believe in the universe and the forces. They also do things as well. It's like everybody wants God. Well, God is all powerful, but he also designates stuff down to people like us, chosen ones, which is regular humans in general, and bigger things that you may not even know of. Like, he can delegate to anyone. That's why it's like, some people's brains, you have to just expand your brain. Now, at this point, you have to, or you'll just be stuck in the loop. And people keep hearing the word looping. That's the end. That's the hell. You keep living the same life, same day, over and over again doing the same things wondering why you can't break about break out of it or change and that even goes into the matrix like you literally it's all connected it's all deep but people want to ignore one part or the other but the end of the world as we know it god literally said everything is black or white not race wise don't even go there black or white it either is this or it's directly not it's either real or it's obviously fake like it's no in between no more Again, you see it in the big media too, because I don't even like to talk about politics or like, I don't even pay attention to celebrities and, celebrities and stuff that much. But like Donald Trump and stuff, again, people thought he was God. He was, if you read Revelations, the beast, the golden beast, not directly just Trump, because fear, mark of the beast, 666, fear is just the simple thing. Everybody thought like the devil was going to literally pop out. It pops out through people. You saw Donald Trump. Everybody loved him because he was openly evil, quite literally, openly evil. Now look at him. Now look at them. <laughs> like the people that did the January 6th Capitol riots. I lived, well, just lived in Virginia near that. So I was just like, bruh, I couldn't even feel safe in that state. But again, those people are going to jail. Trump that indicted, whatever the fuck, and impeached. Not even impeached, but you see him suffering. Then it goes to even down to like, I'm not trying to be funny, false prophets. I love Kanye. I do. I love everybody. Because again, I'm in the image of God. I'm not God. But we are like, are we all supposed to have qualities of God, like all of them. That's literally what God asked for in the Bible. But again, people misconstrue those words too for a nasty gain. I don't even want to get, I'm having to make more videos. Because I know some personally, personally, deeply personally, since a child, know some religious preachers, deacons, people in the ministry that are literally. I don't want to say the worst people, but literally disgusting vile and then just cover it with their own verses and they can misconstrue the words. So that's why I just, I love the Bible. I still read the Bible. But when God's give you special vision and special eyes, you can read it as he meant for it to be. And those people, they read it 
through evil because that's the only eyes they have. And they be like, oh yeah, duh, it makes sense if I put it this way. No, black and white is right there, y'all. But yeah, basically a few weeks ago, my birthday was on April 2nd, which happened to be Palm Sunday. But like, it's just so weird. I feel like us Aries, a few birthdays, it's specific placements. I didn't see those people. I'm like, we are special. It's like specific. And I, I know I've been talking to a few, all of them felt that energy, not just Aries though, like the royal. And again, y'all know today is the 18th when I'm filming this. Mercury retrograde is at the end of the week. A new moon in Aries. Again, we just had a new moon in Aries, then a full moon in Libra. Now another new moon in Aries, but also it's going to be a rare solar eclipse. Now, again, that's bringing out the darkness, but I feel like right now the darkness is supposed to come out and show itself. Now, the darkness in us, like the chosen or like God's people, is going to be our shadow selves, maybe having to be used. I just had to use my shadow self for the first time, like in a way I never wanted to, but it was like had to and God gave me the ability and strength to because I'm so nice I didn't even want to but it was something I could not not I feel like that's what a lot of people are missing and maybe are scared of they're scared that everybody just gonna turn evil no shadow side might come out it might have to be used against people that need it but like the evil people are just gonna be tormented that's the hell they're living living their life and the evil they do is really just gonna turn instantly back on them in different ways that they might not even know like karma instant karma now is literally instant karma whether they know it or not and i believe in past lives and stuff as well but you don't have to but like i've been god showed me my past lives i've been having gifts like this since imagine having all this but like before the age of 10. so of course i worked on my stuff developed my stuff and i trust my word and again had a connection with god since being born so you can hear my word and hear it or you can hear my word and choose to ignore it which again it is deep i'm connecting i'm able to even connect the anime to like tarot people will see my instagram i'm kenpachi karande on one of my instagrams that too because business pleasure whatever and people see that and think you know kenpachi is a demon but also he's a demon on the good side which sounds crazy or whatever you want to say but i literally looked up the name kenpachi and it stands for Eight of Swords. And I'm like, hold on, I'm into tarot. So let me go to my um, Labyrinthos app and look at this meaning. And Eight of Swords meaning upright was like, you choose to not see what's in front of you, like the bad stuff, which I was doing in that moment because I had bad friends, but like I didn't, well, I didn't want to realize it for a long time. Cause I was like, I know something's weird, but these people, we've been around each other for a while, so I know it can't be this. I can't just drop them. Yes, you can, first of all. But like that just yeah, ties into the Kenpachi, the Eight of Swords, because again, yeah, Eight of Swords is like, and again, if you watch Bleach, um, Kenpachi literally, first of all, he blindfolds one of his eyes, so he won't use his full power and can hold himself back, which is what I was doing inside my situation. And then also, it's like, once he decided to take his blindfold off and see it for what it is, like he is the strongest and more powerful than whatever was in front of him, even though he loved what was in front of him with all his heart, but it was terrible for him, he had to kill it. Which, again, I'm not saying I went out and killed anybody either, but I did let people know how it was basically without words. I didn't even have to say nothing. I got over my fears, took off my blindfold. I saw the truth, clarity. I just saw it for what it was, and I decided in that moment, Instead of sitting here with these people and feeling crazy and uncomfortable and losing my mind, literally, I'm gonna get my, I make a way out of here. And I did. Everybody, I feel like, not even, I feel like, it's everywhere. You can just open your eyes now. The people that want to open their eyes, their eyes are open. They see like, whoa. In their personal lives, they see everything that's like, not wrong, but like stuff they need to fix. It's like, your demons are not gonna, you're either gonna have to fight your demons now or let your demons consume you. That's the only thing. That's what heaven is and hell is. It's a very simple concept to me. But again, I've been had this information for a long time. I had vision since before, again, before the age of 10, but strong ones during my teen years about this era in time. I've been had the information, literally my throat, my throat was like blocked by these people even being around me. It felt like I had a hand choking me until literally I decided to put my foot down and somehow like, Literally, physically, I felt able to speak freely. And again, my boyfriend, he was there for a lot of this. 
he saw me go through the even the portions where I couldn't speak and I was trying to then he saw the flip as soon as I put my foot down and I literally poured out for a few days everything that happened over years and years and years it's just interesting we all going through this some of us we were a little ahead again I have like a few people I follow on YouTube like spirituality wise even not we broke through our loops generational curses are being broken I'm literally breaking the generational curse I God we talk I got downloads and physically in my 3d now what God tells me I can see it like and even that stuff is going to manifest through the negative stuff too so like people being negative people not doing what they're supposed to do it happened to me I literally was taking on those other people's stressors and trying to fit them in my life even though it made me very uncomfortable and very sad and at some point it physically manifested I got real sick and had abscess and for four months I suffered the worst pains I ever felt in my life as a person who has always been a little sickly and breaking bones I really didn't feel reborn when I came out because I literally don't know how I made it through that ambulances everything like it was just crazy I had to call 911 myself I never had to do that because of fever hallucination burning up so bad I had the heat on I wanted to go put the I wanted to go put the heat on because I thought it was freezing and the whole time it was steaming in my room like y'all can't even imagine I'm 22 I'm 22 I just turned 22 on April 2nd 2023 just to put that there I'm born April 2nd 2001 so like dang but again I already knew I'm pretty mature pretty advanced and God has a big plan for me has like I already done a lot but I have a lot more to do, which really is just by being myself, showing people what they can do through just being a vessel and doing what I'm supposed to do, which is just bringing people joy. Literally, we already went through the worst parts. The evil will now fizzle itself out. Like it literally cannot exist in this world that God wants. We have to, again, distance ourselves vastly from those people. They can't reach us. Like from hell, how are you supposed to reach heaven? That's literally the simple thing. Heaven and hell, and hell is a mental battle. Coming from a person with various mental illnesses, even still now, I still have my mental illnesses, but I use them to my advantage in a way. I'm gonna explain that. I need to make videos on how bipolar disorder, autism, ADHD, anxiety, depression. I'm not on medicine right now. Now where I am and the knowledge I know I'm and I'm able to share other people to help them get through these things on their own too maybe because some sometimes i don't think medicine is meant for everybody really what god wants look at your life and if not how you want it or like you already know it's already been that you you got to get out of there it's not safe to stay inside negative environments like in any way shape or form at this point because it's just going to drag you down and their demons are going to try to eat you up too from them you have to live life for yourself but also like extend a hand to others that deserve it even your enemies, you don't have to be mean. Like, I didn't be mean. I didn't say nothing. If you ask me a question, I can just simply tell you the truth. You don't have to prove yourself to nobody. These people know what's going on. If you don't get out, like, God does. He doesn't want you to play with your life. He don't want these people to play with your life. And if you decide to continue to play with your life, and if they do, first of all, those people that are playing with you, a chosen one, they're already solidifying their place mentally in hell because that's the only place they'll be able to stay because they're just spreading negativity and that's the only thing that's going to flow through their brains now us positive spreaders light workers whatever that's we'll just be that we've got to stay away from these people i'm leaving people where they are and that's what god wants you to do too that's all i really came here to say today and yeah i have a lot of videos so hopefully i'll be posting them i gotta double down because god got a lot of stuff for you a lot of big stuff for me but we gotta do we can't just sit there and expect like YouTube views to fall on our head if you don't post or like money to come out of the air if you're not even attempting to work or even communicate with anybody that may have money. Like I don't know how you work, what your goals are, but basically that's really it. You gotta put in some effort. And to break out that loop, it might be a lot of effort for some people like me, but at the end of the day, it's worth it on the other side. I can say that for sure. So again, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, and I'll see you in my next one.